today I am at Animal Kingdom. I am here earlier today. The park closes earlier today, but I'm thinking it's going to be another really great day. The sun is hiding behind a bunch of clouds, but it looks like it's going to try to peek through. It was kind of rainy and a little bit yucky this morning, but I think it's going to be fine the rest of the day, so I'm really excited to go in and have a good time at Animal Kingdom today. I have made it through security. Now I'm looking at the tree. Just need to scan my ticket and go actually into the park. The tree here at Animal Kingdom is not actually inside the park because I have not scanned my ticket yet. And it's out here, but look how pretty. I found some ducks. More birds and ducks in here. Way back there. But this is the stall for the swan, woodgen, and the rosy bill. I love their feet. This guy is the rhinoceros iguana and he is not shy. He's also not active and he also doesn't look hungry. He's a great big guy though. Now let's go on to see the tree of life because that's why we're here. And there it is. The holiday decorations down here are amazing. So pretty. Look at that. We can come back. This is the place where the lemurs live. And there's one in that tree right over there. Am I the only crazy person that watched Zaboomafu? If you remember that show, bonus points to you. But look at these guys right down here. One, two. I think since it's only 15 minutes and I haven't done it in forever, this is gonna be first. And just like everyone else, I love the tree of life. How neat is this queue? Just got out of It's Tough to Be a Bug and I see Pocahontas and Miko. Honestly, I forgot how much fun that show was and now I'm just going to continue walking around the park. The exit to the bug show spits you out right at the Asia entrance, but I'm gonna go to the right. Let's go see Dino Land first. They've gone totally wild with Christmas decorations here. You can't see, but the dinosaur is wrapped with lights. How close you can you notice it is 12.30, so it's about lunchtime for most people, and so there are a lot of people standing around Restaurantosaurus waiting for their mobile pickup. I think I'm gonna do Dinosaur next. This is Tyrannosaurus Sue. I bet he had a cavity on every tooth because he couldn't brush his teeth. I've had enough dinosaurs for the day, let's move on. If I'm looking at the map, this is Dino Land. I'm sit sitting right outside Nemo, and of course the show is not on right now. But next is Expedition Everest with only a 20 minute wait. And there it is. I think that's what I'll do next. Yeah. 
as well. Since they do not have fireworks here at Animal Kingdom because of the animals, they do have like water parades here. So this is the amphitheater where people will sit and watch the water show under normal circumstances when they're doing it. But right now it's time for Chippendale and Goofy. They're showing off for us. I'm not sure why I love the Ever Expedition Everest ride. I know some people don't like it at all. I love it. Also, I discovered my finger's bleeding, so I need to find the first aid station. So I got my band-aid, but the first aid was all the way over here by Africa. I think I'm gonna do Pandora first, and then go back and do Asia and then finish the day with Africa and the safari. This over here is Nomad Lounge attached to Tiffins. And then just this way is Pandora. They really did make this beautiful back here. And it's not clear, but I think that I'm walking what is usually the queue for Flight of Passage. I'm hoping I'll catch up soon. the park it's really very beautiful but very 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 heavily themed so pretty awesome. and now we're on the indoor part of the queue and we still have the line staggered something called an avatar. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once Three o'clock, let's go to Asia. This way. I'm not in the mood for a water ride where I get drenched. So I think I'll do this instead. Tigers, oh my. 
This is basically a walking safari with lots of different animal exhibits. Here's the tiger. Until we saw the tiger, people were social distancing, and then the tiger ruined everything. It was great, but people suck. Hey, Luke! Luke, look at one in the net! Right here. Next up, Africa and the safari. First look at the tree of life. And then look at how few people there are here. This has been a really great crowd day here at Animal Kingdom today. I could do this ride multiple times a day and never be bored. I love it so much. So far there has been no wait for the safari. But we're still moving and we're going to boat board right behind these bushes. The truck for your so safari. crazy. All right, here we're waiting. But those are the cars, right over there. So we walk down and then down and then we get on. Super short, like not even five minutes. It's related to the zebra, but they're related to the giraffe instead. human fingerprints. They're also called painted dogs and, you know, because of their patchwork coat. Those large horns out to the right, those are Ancoli cattle. Those cattle horns look really big and heavy, but they're now there's going to be a tower. That's what a group of giraffes is called. A tower. Baby giraffes are about six feet tall, one horn. They can stand and walk within the first hour of life. As they reach adulthood, they'll get up to about 18 to 20 feet tall. A giraffe's tongue, that's going to be about an inch long for each foot tall that they are. So a 20 foot tall giraffe will have somewhere around a 20 inch long tongue. And that's going to be dark purple. That keeps them from getting sunburn on their tongue. The giraffes do spend almost the entire day eating. You can tell the adult males by the bright red and blue facial markings. They get brighter as they get more excited. They also have small pouches in their cheeks. They use those to store snacks for later. They don't think when they're born. They get that color from the beta carotene in the shrimp that they eat. They are built for that speed, not power. So they'll be chased off by some other animals like lions and hyena. Bronze word, fight, which means wide, not white. It's referencing their wide mouth. Ideal for eating the grass along the ground. Hi. Black rhino have more of a point. While they're separated, they can communicate through roars, which can be heard from over five miles away. But they make nine different vocalizations. Facing out, trying to ward off any predators. All the way to the right, those white antelope, they are a scimitar. They can go a remarkable nine months without drinking any water. A couple more white rhino. They can actually weigh up to about 5,000 pounds. The black rhino is only up to about 3,000. And they That safari was wonderful. The park is closing in an hour. I'm gonna make my way out to the car and go home because I'm hungry. <laughs> Thank you.
One last animal exhibit as I leave the park. Heading right back here. Beautiful black swan. Hello. Yes, you're very pretty. Okay, I'm in the car and the sun is coming in at a really weird angle. I had the best day at Animal Kingdom today. It was absolutely perfect. The crowds were mostly perfect. The sun, the, I mean it was sunny, it wasn't too hot, it wasn't cold, it didn't rain. It was the perfect day. There were a couple of little snafus with people in queues who didn't understand that they were supposed to stay six feet from me. Cause like I was leaving a six to 10 foot gap between me and the group in front of me in all of the queues I was in today. And it happened in other parks too. So not just today, but like every other day that I've gone to the parks this week, it's just been the same. But and when I was in the, in the queue for flight of passage, this girl behind me kept bumping into me. And she was on FaceTime with someone who wasn't here and she was talking really loud, but she wasn't paying attention and she kept bumping me. It was obnoxious, but anyway, I had a great day, perfect day. That is gonna be the end of Animal Kingdom today. That's gonna be the end of the parks series for now. I don't see myself going back to the parks at before Christmas. And so that's gonna be it for the parks for Vlogmas. You guys will see me tomorrow in the next Vlogmas video.